Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here, back with another episode of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, you're about to go where maybe we shouldn't be going. I don't know. I don't know. We're going there uh, because we have to. We have to, Steve. All right. The myth is that whenever you pick up a revolver, you load it, and then you slam it shut like this. Go ahead, do uh, it. Do it. I don't want to do it. It's it my wrong. gun. You can do it. It feels wrong. I don't want it. You do it. I'm not doing it. My, my old wrists won't do it that fast. I'm not going to pick up Steve's gun and slam the cylinder shut. But there's a there's a flick of the wrist motion you can do here that, that'll slam the cylinder shut. We've all seen it in the movies. Um, maybe recently you've seen some YouTubers doing it and yeah. saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Well, what is wrong with it? What could possibly go wrong? On all the revolvers that I've had to repair... Uh, there's some definitely some issues caused by that. They were like the revolvers I had to fix were definitely caused by flicking that cylinder shut. And the issue is that the actual like yoke assembly itself will bend with the weight of the inertia of the actual cylinder, and it'll cause it to misalign a bit, and then it'll screw up the timing on your revolver, and it'll just it, it, it's going to be really tight to function. And you can actually see. I don't know if you can see it here, but you can see that seam right there on the front. Yeah. So you'll notice a gap there. And that's, there's no, I don't understand where the, like how this became a, a myth that like it's okay. Some, you know, gun tubers out there did it and was like, oh, nothing at all bad is happening. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. uh, now there's a misconception out there that that's okay to do as if Hollywood didn't do bad enough. Well. You know, there probably are some guns that it doesn't hurt. I'm thinking of some Ruger double actions that are built, you know, this is to go till doomsday. Massive amounts of yeah, reinforced it, steel. You know, maybe a, yeah. a GP100 or a Red Hawk isn't affected by this, but a K-Frame Smith is definitely affected by this. K-Frame Smith, uh, so I, I would imagine your Colts would be affected by yes, it. Yes, I think so, yes. So, but uh, the moral of the story is here that you can look at Smith and Wesson like their service records and I'm sure you will see a massive amount that were that had to be repaired because of that. I've repaired some because of that. I know Steve's definitely yeah. seen some messed up because yeah. of that. We didn't talk about this beforehand so I didn't want to put words in his mouth and be like, Steve, you fix these. Well back in the sixties all the T V detectives slammed that baby shut. Yeah. Just like that. One little flick of the wrist. Yeah. That was back in the days when people used to engrave their uh, social security number into the receiver, too. There's a, just a lot of good ideas back then. <laughs> a lot of good ideas. A lot of, a lot of great That's stuff. back when people were shooting their TVs doing quick draws. That, people don't do that anymore? I don't, not a whole lot. I mean, I've gotten rid of some TVs. Who? Not doing quick draws. Though. Remind me not to invite you over Duly to watch noted. gun smoke. <laughs> Duly noted. All right. <clears throat> well, if you have any comments, pro or con, slamming your revolver cylinder shut, let us know what you think. We'd be glad to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time with another episode of Smithbusters.